Boom, it's Zach Kaufman. I'm here out in the snow and the cold to tell you the next part of how to actually achieve your goals. And one of the most important things when it comes to achieving your goals is the habits that you have, the habits that you add in order to achieve that goal. So there's two parts to this. First off, a lot of times when we wanna make a change, when we wanna get to a goal and achieve something, there's something we have to remove or cut down on or anything like that. So when it comes to nutrition, it's important to cut down on some of those foods that are higher in fat, that are processed, that we don't wanna include in our diet. Same thing, when it comes to, if you're going to add in any kind of exercise workout program, you're gonna to have to cut out something, whether it's watching TV, whether it's going out with your friends an extra time, whether it is giving up some other type of hobby, activity, playing fantasy football, whatever it is for you, there's gonna be something you have to cut out to make that time. It could be getting up early or going to bed later, whatever it is for you, there's always something you've gotta cut out. So that's the first part. But the problem is if all you do is cut something out, there's actually a story in the Bible that goes through and it, it says, um, Jesus actually says it, that when you cast out one demon, if you don't fill that, there's gonna be seven more that come back and, and fill that void and it's gonna be worse than before. And the analogy is the exact same, that if you remove something and don't replace it with anything, it's gonna come back worse. And that's why a lot of people don't achieve their goals and end up falling back into what already didn't work in the past. So if you're gonna remove something, you've gotta replace it with a positive habit. That's how you actually achieve your results. So when that happens, now this part, I'm gonna get into how to not do this and some of the stuff I hate when it comes to fitness, nutrition, that kind of industry. So how to not start a new habit. Number one, start something that's not sustainable. Some kind of BS seven day juice cleanse. That stuff is some nonsense. It's gonna waste your time. You're just gonna do it for a week. It's not what's gonna happen at that point. It's gonna just drop you off and leave you there to not achieve. You can't do that every single week. You can't do that for a year. It's not sustainable. It's a fake thing that gets you short-term results, but it's been proven that most people end up gaining all the weight back and more when they do something like that, a short-term solution to a long-term problem. That's not effective. Same thing with all the 14-day fixes or 21-day fix or whatever, 21-day challenge, things like that. It's a nice idea, but a lot of times those things incorporate doing whatever it is every single day for that entire time period, which is nice. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to be connected to the fact that 21 days builds a habit. But the problem is, what habit are you building? You're building the habit of doing this, Whether well, I'll use the example of exercising. You're exercising every single day for 21 days. Cool, but now you built this habit, this habit, of exercising every single day, which isn't realistic. There's so few people that are gonna be able to maintain that every single day for a year, for three years, as they're moving towards their goals. You're not building a real habit. What happens when you fall off one day? It doesn't account for that. It's not real life. The better way to do your 21 day fix is to just, just limit it to two days a week but this is what's gonna make it a habit. You do that for 21 days, that covers 11 weeks. That's three months of putting in that work, only just doing twice a week. It's the same 21 days, but it's gonna get you more long-term results and be more sustainable. That's how you build a habit. Find what works for you and then keep that going. Create a system that you can do that every single time and you can achieve what you're aiming for. That's how you make changes. That's how you achieve your goals. Go out there and attack it. Create great habits. Let's go.